a major step forward last year and a documentary series, there's plenty of hype around the North Side football team. We start our year with the legends in our signature matchup hosting Northridge. North playing without two D1 talents, Tay Johnson and Jordan King, both out tonight. First half quick toss from Northridge's Braden Clark to McLean Miller. But Rayshon Carpenter strips the ball on the tackle. Kendall Benson scoops it up. Our line of sight gets a little interrupted, but as you can see by the reaction, that's a tutty. Northside pulls in front, 7-3. Second quarter, Raiders will pull in front. Clark with a dime to Miller here. No fumble this time. Northridge taking a 9-7 lead. Fourth quarter, now 19-7 Raiders. Another big play for that legend defense. Ball on the ground again. This time, Demarcus Knuckles scoops it up. He's looking more like Sonic here. Another dash to the end zone and six more points from the North D. It's now 19 to 13. But Northridge going to put this game out of reach in the final moments. Miller up the middle into the end zone to make it a two-score game. Legends fall in the opener. Raiders win 26-13. Tonight wasn't a loss to me. It was just a lesson that this team needed. We dropped one. Um, we're going to get back to the drawing board. We're going to get back focused. We're going to... Uh, just get back in line to where we need to be so we can play great north side football and be ready for week two. Expectations always high for Homestead football, but with plenty of new faces and a sophomore under center, the first week draw of powerhouse Carmel looking extra menacing. An absolutely fantastic crowd on hand at Walter Stadium. And the Spartans showing up for that student section. The stalemate through more than a quarter and a half. The Greyhounds massive O-line and tailback finally plow through for six points. But Sparty with the quick response. Michael White making a name for himself tonight, dropping a dime to Brett Fox. Homestead more than hanging in there as White will roll out the sophomore patient with it here. And he hits Kale Swager for the score. Seven to seven as we near intermission start Sparty staying strong on D. Nick Schulteis spitting, speeding in for the sack, but Carmel scores the only TD in the second half of pick six as Homestead loses a hard-fought battle 14-7. Really tough assignment for Coach Jason Garrett and Bishop Dwenger. They're hosting Brownsburg. Bulldogs already up a touchdown looking for more late in the first. QB Jake Dunn on the move, taken down for the loss. Trenton Tipman with the initial contact here for Dwenger. But later in that drive, Dunn. Lofting this one towards the end zone. And Trey Brown able to come down inbounds for the touchdown. Dogs lead 14 zip. The Saints trying to respond on their next drive, but no time here for Ethan Springer to make anything happen. He's sacked on fourth down, and Brownsburg will win big. They beat the Saints 51 to 7. Off to Wayne High, where the Generals hope to emulate the kind of season the basketball team did last year. There's Javon Lewis Jr. happy with. What he's seeing as Marcus Cooper hits Jacob Sharon on the quick screen. Sharon's got speed to burn. He hits the sideline, blazes by the defense, weighing up a score on Indy's Addicts. In the first win, it's Cooper throwing it a little further this time around to a wide open Harold Mack, making mincemeat of the defender. The Generals explosive tonight. They keep it coming. Sharon on the jet sweep. He'll just spin off the lackluster hit. Sharon wants another for himself. Generals go up 28-6 in the first, ultimately winning 35-12. We head to Kendallville now, where East Noble hosts Bishop Lures, the Battle of the Knights. East Noble's Xander Brazel tossing it long to Dylan Krell, and he hauls it in for the first touchdown of the game. Lures with an answer here coming up. Cohen McKenzie will pass the short toss to Gio Jimenez, who runs into the end zone. This game does not stay tied for long, though. Middle of the second quarter, East Noble back with it. Michael Mosley on the carry. He finds the end zone, the second touchdown. And then on the following kickoff, a little deception here. Alex Sprague onside kick. And East Noble able to cover it and steal another possession. East Noble rolls after that. Those Knights win 45-7. A menacing bulldog on New Haven's helmet reflects just how scary this offense can be. Up against Northrop, Trey Bates, sweet stiff arm. He makes a break for it into Pater Bulldogs with the Knights' first bite. When senior slinger Donovan Williams, he wants more, finding one of the top players in the state. Always a good choice to throw Mylon Graham's way for the first. New Haven would score again. Northrop ball, but not for long, as that's Malik Faro, a ball hawk on the break for the pick six, 42 to six. 
New Haven rolls. And one more Indy power to visit as Snyder makes the trip to Warren Central. The Panthers, Karan Billingsley off the play action, shifty with it. The burst into broad daylight. Snyder down just 8-7 to seven in the second quarter when Warren Central's Keith Jackson showing off a pretty spiral. But it's the Panthers' Levi Overholzer there to pounce for the pick. This a momentum-changing play. Snyder capitalizes Billingsley. He takes the knock but won't back down. The senior springs in for six more. The Panthers make the fort proud in a 42-20 pounding.